Hi, it's Warren with Zen Pro Audio. Welcome to Zen TV Weekly. It is the week of August the 29th. I feel like a broken record, but I gotta remind you one more time, our Peluso enormous sale ends Wednesday of this week. Enter code Peluso15 on the site for huge savings. We also have the entire Peluso line now in the Clipolator, so you get to hear all the differences in frequency response and tonal deliveries of every Peluso microphone including the multiple caps, including the P67 with our three-way mod. Good stuff, you gotta check it out. But after Wednesday, you've missed out on a wonderful deal if you haven't pulled the trigger by then. Chameleon Labs just started shipping. We have them here now, also tested and in the Clipolator. They're 581, this is a 500 series 1081 clone mic pre. Now they've got a mod called the iMod. And we wanted to wait until the units came in to make sure that we could do it ourselves and that there was room to work in. And there is. We are using the exact same Carn Hill transformer and replacing it here at Zen Pro with an introductory price of $100. So our mod bringing the entire cost of the unit to $499 out the door. We have tested it in the Clipolator stock and fully modified so that you can hear the differences that are going on. And they're subtle like all transformer swaps are, but it's there. It's got that added clarity and a little bit more of that punch and sort of width to things as well. We just added this past week 36 microphones, mostly dynamic mics, including close mic drums, kick, snare, and tom with a lot of different models. So a lot of moving coil action going on. If it is a popular dynamic microphone for recording studio use, it's in there. We've got dedicated kick mics, we've got all-purpose mics, you name it, it's probably in there. We also did a session this week where we were able to take every incarnation of the 414, the new XL2 and XLSs, as well as the cardioid-only C214, and of course against our own 414 BULS, and use them all side by side in the same session on those same references. And I have to say, it is really cool to be able to get past the uh, internet banter about which mic you should be buying for what purpose. And you can just use your ears to make those decisions. Those 414s do a great job in there. You should definitely check those out. Uh, in that same session, SE Electronics, I have to say, they're 4400A, very, very smooth performing microphone, very interesting tone from there. The X1 for an entry level mic really kind of had everybody in the room saying, man, you know, hats off to that. Not an expensive microphone. Listen to the smooth tone and the way that it holds things together. Very, very nice stuff. So, uh, Also this past week, the Lindell Audio 17X. This is an FET compressor um, that is not cheap. It's 2,900 bucks. And I have to say, when we first got it in here, we were like, okay, 2,900 bucks, let's roll this thing and see what happens. This thing has a way of controlling dynamics, but holding the tone together, unlike any other. It is a very solid, solid image with no real discernible artifacts. You'd really have to push this thing around or, or set it wrong to make it very obvious. But it's the solid tone, how it doesn't sort of mush the initial transients. It doesn't soften things or kind of blur them together. It is an incredibly, incredibly um, solid image that you get. Probably the loudest output compressor also due to its speed that is in the clipolator. And But you're listening to like drums going like, those things are just totally pounding the surface. But they're held together and not crunching in this crazy, unusable way. Really, really unique stuff. And that mix knob on there, as well as actually having high and low pass filters on the signal itself, very useful. I now have the full video uploaded as of tonight as well, so you can really check out the 17X in action. Nothing gets past that thing, I will say. Um, also, I wanted to let you know that Zen Pro Audio has booked a booth in New York City for the 131st AES convention. So all of my friends in New York or in the tri-state area that do business with Zen Pro, man, you got to come by and shake hands with me and hang out for a little bit. Um, I'll be there to talk gear for three days. It's booth number 760. Um, we'll be sending out a mailer pretty soon so that you can actually get your own badges held at the door 
for Zen Pro. It allows you entry into the entire uh, exhibitor's area. I'm very excited about that, to be back out there and talking about gear face to face, but I'd really like to meet a lot of you New York area guys, so hit me up. Uh, anyhow, that's all the hot stuff I can think of that's going on at Zen Pro Audio this week. As always, you can click on contact us there on the site. I'll personally respond and get you taken care of. And keep in mind, we are working very, very, very hard around here to bring you gear now and Zen. <laughs>